Yeah? yeah? Right? Yes. Deal? Boing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. Broadcast video is live. This is the kickoff of something I've been thinking about for a while. It's my great privilege and pleasure to get to go to a lot of events during the year, a lot of Drupal camps, DrupalCon, and events um, for other technologies and other sorts of gatherings. I thought at some point that I was seeing um, a bunch of great session stuff that our community is talking about at Drupal camps, but not every Drupal camp can afford to make high quality video recordings and get all the sessions online. And sometimes even the ones that are recorded are maybe um, not easily found. And uh, I thought it would be nice to, to share those with a broader audience, try and make them a little more findable. Um, and I also liked the idea of just having a even more Drupal camp in my life, which is why I'm calling this series Jam's Drupal Camp. It's basically an extension of the Acquia podcast, but we're doing it on a video, and I'm planning on having a bunch of great guests. Uh, Marek's my first, and uh, I'm setting up a calendar of these things, and anyone who'd like to submit a session to my permanent and ongoing Drupal camp is very, very, very welcome to. So first up and first guess in Jam's Drupal camp, Marek Sotek. Marek, how are you doing today? I'm very well, thanks. How about That's you? That's great. Uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm happy that this is rolling now. And uh, yeah, once we're through, it's my dinner time, which is also good news. <laughs> so let's start out. I just wanted to ask you a couple podcast style questions and then I'm going to hand over the hangout to you and you can present us your session. Marek, what is it that you do in Drupal? Okay, so well my main objectives right now is more about usability and user experience. Um, some of the people might know me as a root candy theme creator which was quite popular back then an admin theme. So, but I'm as well, a, you know, Drupal developer. I do the module development. I do theming, all these kind of things around. So, yeah. Okay, and what's your first Drupal memory? My first Drupal memory would be Drupal 4.6, and I think the learning curve that was quite, uh, quite hard. You know, a completely new world, and yeah, it was quite experience. Why don't you compare Drupal now to, to when you got started? Well, I guess it's much more easier for me to do what, whatever I want with Drupal right now because, you know, I got the skills or I know what, what, uh, what the guts are. So um, hard to say what to compare. I mean, it's, it was a long journey to learn all these kind of things, but I think it was all worth it. And, yeah, I don't regret this. And especially the whole experience with community is something completely new or was, so that was perfect. What's your favorite thing about Drupal? I think it's the community, because uh, as you know that we, uh, I met a lot of people, I've been doing a lot of conferences, and as well I'm uh, organizing and co-organizing this Frontend United that we started with Morton, which is, for those who don't know, that's a, a conference for about 150 or 200 people, and it's you know running around the world, and uh, it's for the front end people around Drupal. But uh, it's really the community, the people around, so many friends, friends from all, all around the world. So that's the best part. Cool. And um, so, last question for now what are you most excited about in Drupal 8? In Drupal 8, um, I would say I'm, I'm quite excited about this kind of. Uh, what's happening with, with this, uh, like the people are getting to know uh, or trying to 
to learn more about Drupal 8, but they don't want to learn much because it's completely new. And there's kind of like a shift in thinking where people are thinking whether they are going to learn Drupal 8 or it's too much, or whether they are going to use like this backdrop CMS or uh, or, or they will start learning something completely new. So uh, that's something very interesting for me right now. Let's see how this goes. Uh, the idea here now is that we shift into Drupal Camp session mode, and um, all of you lovely people have come here to see Marek give his talk, which is called Get Off the Phone, Helping Users Through Better UX and Tools. And at this stage, I can say that I saw you give this talk for the first time in Copenhagen a few weeks ago, and I, I was very impressed. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was um, valuable. And I think a, an important point to point out is that um, the usability and the stuff that you're talking about and the solution that you propose is not just for Drupal. You're, you're actually aiming to give developers on a lot of other platforms this solution. So I find that exciting. And um, you gave this session in Vienna as well, right? Yes. How, besides, besides my reaction, and obviously I was impressed by your session, what kind of feedback have you been getting around this stuff? Um, I would say, uh, you know, some people, because I'm, I'm talking there as well about the user-centered design, and uh, it's kind of interesting to see that even developers are, uh, well, were at this session, and uh, even developers learned some, some new things about that it's called, or you can call it user-centered design. There are different approaches. There are different approaches how to do research. So I think that that's the most valuable thing for, for, the, for the visitors or yeah, for the listeners. Okay, so I am going to give you the full focus, so even if I make a noise, my face won't come on camera now, and you can switch over to sharing your slides, um, and we'll get underway with your Drupal Camp session. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much for having me. When I recorded this initial Jams Drupal Camp session with Marek, it wasn't perfectly clear to me how the series was going to work. And so I'm adding this in post to tell you that if you're listening to the Acquia podcast version of this, we're going to sign off now. Thank you very, very much for listening. Head on over to acquia.com slash podcasts to find this episode's page. And there you'll also find Marek's session video and slides embedded for you to see and learn from. And thanks again for listening. Thank you so much for taking time to redo your session one more time. And um, I really look forward to seeing you again soon. Um, any last words from you? Let's see, you need to shamelessly plug inline manual once more, I'd say at least. Oh yeah. Well First, thanks very much for having me in this first kind of, I really like this idea of Drupal, you know, camp online, like this Champs Drupal camp, it's really nice. And for the inline manual, I think it really fixes the problem that we, you know, wanted to fix. So I'm really quite excited about that as well. And it's sort of like my focus right now. And yeah, so I encourage anyone to give it a try. And yeah, I think it will work for everyone. Terrific. Okay, so that's it from the very first session of Jam's Drupal Camp, and I look forward to seeing um, you all and many others at the next Jam, Jam's Drupal Camp. <laughs> that's funny to say, and at you know real life events around the world. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, and thank you one more time, Marek. Everybody, uh, good night, good thank afternoon, you. whatever your time zone is. <laughs> Take care. Thanks, Marek. Bye.